G'day everybody, my name's Dr. Jonathan Lee, and right now I'm here to talk to you about what do you actually study in ECSE. So you've gotten through first year, and you've come into the ECSE department, you're probably wondering, what subjects am I gonna be taking? Well, the goal of the course is actually to blend theory and practice to provide education for life and not just training. It's this blending of theory and practice which allows us to give you a deep understanding of the fundamentals about electrical engineering. And the thing about deep fundamentals is that they allow breakthroughs to be made so that when you guys graduate, you come out and you can advance the field and advance mankind. So what do you learn? In level two, that's second year usually, unless you're doing a double degree, you'll usually learn about signal processing, electromagnetics, circuits and control, telecoms, analog electronics, digital systems, a bit of computer organization architecture, and some advanced engineering maths. These are all foundations that all electrical engineers should know. So if you, you can take a job in pretty much any field of electrical engineering and you will be prepared to work from day one. Level three, we cover off a, a little bit more. We go into electrical energy systems and electronic systems and control. The great thing about level three is you all do an engineering design project. Now this engineering design project usually involves putting together everything that you've learned from level two and into the first semester of level three and creating some sort of, or may, it might be an autonomous robot that does something like play soccer, or it might be a robot that goes scouring the labs for particular colored stones, but it's a whole lot of fun, you work in teams and it'll be, uh, it's often one of the highlights of the course. From level three, you'll also be taking electives, okay? So this is where you get a chance to specialize in the particular areas that might interest you. Now in level three, you get to take four electives from the ECSE elective list, and that leads us into level four. So in level four, you'll be taking a final year project where you work closely with one of the academics in the department, and that might be working on a project of one of their research interests or it might be you take them a project that you want to develop and that they can help you with. Uh, you'll also be learning professional practice. It covers all the business and financial and managerial side of engineering. All those things that we conveniently ignore in the first few years and we think that as engineers we'll never have to do them. But guess what? We do and we teach you how to do that. You'll also take either wireless, guide, wireless and guided EM or computer systems. And those, actually those core subjects between level three and four, they can be a little bit interchangeable, so you've got some flexibility. But you'll also take more electives that you can um, choose to specialize in. So what are those electives? Let's have a look. Okay, so we have, as core strengths in the department, we have ECOC electives in wireless communications. These include digital signal processing, radio frequency electronics, wireless comms as a subject and advanced control. We also have strength in robotics. Robotics subjects include large-scale digital design which also is into, into computer systems. You do advanced computer architecture and real-time embedded systems, computer vision and intelligent robotics. Electrical energy. Monash generates most of the electrical energy graduates in Victoria and to do that we teach you about electrical energy systems, how to generate and supply electricity to the grid, how to convert and control motors using electrical energy, how to use, how to create circuitry for power electronics and also high voltage engineering. What else do we do? We do biomedicine. So you might have heard about the bionic eye that's going on at the moment. Well, we also have core strengths in teaching about medical instrumentation, imaging technology, and finally, we have core strengths in telecommunications. So this is all about getting information from point A to point B, all the way from the fundamental theories of communications or into fiber optic communication. There's also, we also learn about how the internet works through telecommunications protocols and network performance. So now you've heard about what we teach, but you're probably interested in who's teaching it. Um, now the next slide I'll show you most of the teaching staff in the department and I'll, I'll think you'll agree they're a good looking bunch and you can be guaranteed that they'll all very much care about what you learn in the department. Now the last thing that we, we want to tell you about are the great facilities that ECAC offers. These are actually some of the best facilities in Australia. We have a power laboratory, 
We have a software-defined radio laboratory. We have a high-voltage laboratory with Tesla coils, and you may have seen them in the open days. Uh, we have probably the best stock general purpose electrical laboratories. You've probably seen them in first year engineering. Well, they're free to use for all of our ECSE enrollees. We also have robotics and computer vision laboratory, an optical communications laboratory, and we also have a superb mechatronics laboratory, as well as uh, brilliant workshops and staff who will help you turn your ideas into reality.